Stephen Bonds. And this is my story, my life story, up to this point. When Josh asked me if I would give my testimony, I thought about it, because I hadn't given it but about one time in my life, and it was uh, when I was up for deacon. And I was kind of nervous about it, you know, because I wasn't ready for it. Uh, with that being said, uh, I was saved when I was young, probably five or six years old. Uh, Lord come into my heart, and I knew He did at that point. Uh, I went through my teenage years like most people, confused, you know, but the Lord was with me, and He put a lot of people in my life uh, through my teenage years that uh, kept me on track. Uh, I attended church my whole life, and I say that that I was attending. Uh, then I got into my 20s, and through my 20s, you know, you struggle trying to find out who you are and uh, where you want to go. And I had a lot of influence, a lot of people plugged into my life that kept me on track, kept me out of trouble. I'm not gonna say that I didn't get into it, um, because uh, I did, um, but he was always there for me. Uh, then he put uh, my beautiful wife into my life when I was 30. Uh, that, was, uh, that was a change I wasn't ready for, uh, instant family. Uh, but it's all in God's timing and not mine. Uh, you know, we debated having kids, uh, but I had two boys uh, that I needed to raise in a godly home. Uh, but we had been attending Calvary and I'd just been attending and going through the motion. I would tithe when I thought I could. I would uh, come to church on Sunday night when I thought I could. I was just going through the motions and I was getting other people to pour into my life. Uh, I would come to Sunday school, I'd read my lesson when I wanted to. It's probably been a couple years ago that I really realized that uh, I didn't have a relationship with the Lord. My weekends were my time, they weren't God's time. Uh, my money was my money. I tried to do it on my own. I poured all of my time into my job, earning awards, uh, not bank, building a big bank account because I don't have one. But I was robbing the Lord. And uh, he's the one that's given me everything I've had. And uh, it's time to give back to him. Brother Chad preached a message one day talking about being poured into. And uh, I realized that I'd find myself walking into the church and I'd sit in a certain position. I'd shake hands with certain people. Um, but I didn't know the people of the church and uh, I didn't have a relationship with the Lord. And uh, it kind of rocked my world and there were several other messages that come into it that uh, I wasn't ready for. Well, I prayed one day that the Lord would use me, that he would open some doors, let me find out how to plug in the church. And uh, I want to let you know when you pray that prayer, be ready because uh, it's coming. He's uh, He will open the doors. Now you got to be willing to walk through them. But, uh, when you do go through it though, I will tell you this, it'll be the biggest blessing you've ever had in your life. Uh, with friends, uh, you'll get plugged into people's lives and uh, it won't bother you to pray for them. It won't bother you to uh, get plugged into their lives. You'll want to, it'll be a, it'll be a pleasure to help them. Uh, I wouldn't have done that a few years ago because I didn't want to have to deal with somebody else's problems. Uh, now I, I, I wait those days and uh, somebody asks me to do something, I'm pretty much going to be probably the first one to tell you I'll do it. Uh, just because uh, I feel that's what the Lord wants me to do at this point in my life. Uh, I was blessed with uh, Brother Bobby Hull's Sunday school class, a life group, uh, now a deacon. Uh, I know that comes with a lot of responsibility, but I feel like the Lord uh, put these things in my life at the right time. And, uh, I just encourage each one of y'all to get plugged in and uh, let the Lord have what he deserves. And uh, just pray that he can use you.